let's learn how to sew a shank button. Shank buttons do not have any holes in the front, but they have one loop in the back, and that's what you will pull the thread through. They're usually used for coats, sweaters, and those sort of garments. First, you'll want to cut your thread. 10 to 15 inches will suffice. Thread your needle. Tie the end of the thread. I usually do about two to three knots. Find the location you want your button to be. If you're using it on a coat or something that will involve a buttonhole, make sure it aligns. You will move the thread and needle up through the back of the fabric and through the hoop. Go back down right next to the hole that you just made, down through the back again. And you'll want to repeat this process about five to ten times. You can tug on your button as you go to see how secure it is. So let's say I did that five times. Now I'm ready to tie it off. So you'll just go to the back and run your needle through the thread you have. And there are a few different ways you can knot the back. I usually run it through the thread loop I've created, maybe twice. And there you have it, your shank button.